there is a body of mass 100 kg it is placed on an inclined plane of inclination 30 degree let us try to visualize what is the meaning of this part of the problem is first of all so let's imagine the inclined plane so this is a horizontal line what i am drawing right now this is the incline with an angle of inclination theta equal to 30 degree given for you we will consider that 30 degree aspect later let us consider a body here this is the body whose mass is equal to m then the first thing that we need to understand is whenever there is a mass being it is on the earth acceleration due to gravity always acts on it in a vertically downward direction like i am showing right now so this is the direction in which the weight of this body acts now it's very clear this weight it's very clear this weight is vertically downward that is a vector because it's a force we can resolve this weight into components as how much it is there along the one axis how much it is there on the other axis first of all taking this point as a reference point i can draw a diag i can draw a line see this is the horizontal line that is there and i can draw another line which is similar to that line so this is the same parallel line this line and this line are parallel to each other as the inclined line is the same and the horizontal line is the same here if the angle is theta here also the angle will be theta as per the basic laws of geometry this angle is also equal to theta now look little carefully to this horizontal line this is the weight who is perpendicular that means this total angle is 90 degree out of that 90 this angle is theta so automatically this angle angle with the inclined plane with the vertical that is with the weight is 90 minus theta now let us see how can we resolve this weight into components this is what our weight is acting in this direction i can draw a line perpendicular to this inclined plane this is the inclined plane to this i am drawing a perpendicular to the inclined plane now look little carefully I have drawn a perpendicular line. So this total angle is 90. Hope you are able to see where that is. To this inclined plane, I have drawn a perpendicular. So this total angle is 90. Out of this total angle 90, I have just now found that this angle is 90 minus theta. So this also must be equal to theta because this total angle is 90. This is 90 minus theta this must be theta therefore they together become 90 minus theta plus theta that is 90. So the thing that you have got is I will just draw it somewhere in the other place also just to make you visible better. If this angle is theta imagine a body here I am just redrawing and reworking quickly for you to understand easily. This is the weight mg. This is the same horizontal line being this angle is theta, this is theta, this is also theta because these two are perpendicular, this is 90 minus theta. Now if I draw a perpendicular line to this inclined plane because this is perpendicular and this is 90 minus theta, this will be theta because this 90 minus theta and theta you add you will get back your 90 degree because they are perpendicular to each other that's how you are able to prove that this is theta now this mg is having a component with theta adjacent to mg so this becomes mg cos theta this is a component 
this is one component of that mg that is mg cos theta this is another perpendicular component that is mg sin theta so this mg what you have shown here can be resolved as mg cos theta and mg sin theta because mg is a vector force is a vector that can be resolved as a components now it's very clear this mg cos theta is perpendicular to this inclined plane this mg sin theta is parallel to inclined plane now if you look back to the question what is the weight parallel to the inclined plane so the only force acting parallel to the inclined plane is this much mg sin theta so the problem is solved now so what we can say weight parallel to inclined plane is mg sin theta mass is given to you in the problem as 100 to make the calculation simple i have taken g value as 10 angle of inclination is given to us 30 degree sin 30 so 100 into 10 you know sin 30 is half that is 1000 by 2 that is equal to 500 newton so the component of the weight parallel to the inclined plane is equal to 500 newton we can also calculate though it is not asked in the problem just for the sake of clarity weight perpendicular to inclined plane if somebody asked this too it is simple this is inclined plane this is perpendicular to inclined plane that is mg cos theta this value this is the inclined plane this is perpendicular to that you know m is given as 100 g assume like 10 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 that is 500 root 3 newton so the total weight mg what is mg value m is 100 g is 10 1000 newton is resolved along the components as shown it is resolved into the components as shown as 500 newton and 500 root 3 newton so you can when you add these two components you will get back your vector how do you get back your vector you can find out easily you can say your uh, total weight is resolved as we can solve that way weight can be resolved as 500 i cap 500 root 3 j cap or in the other sense depending on who is your x axis who is your y axis we can also write it like 500 root 3 j cap and 500 i cap whatever its magnitude will be root of x component square that is 500 square and y component square that is 500 root 3 whole square that is the root of 500 square plus 500 square into root 3 whole square is 3 so if you have taken 500 square common root outside the root it will become 500 1 plus 3 that is 4 under root 4 that is equal to 2 that is equal to 1000 newton so you get back your 1000 newton you are not losing any part of the weight what it is simply doing is we are resolving that into components as component parallel to inclined plane component perpendicular to inclined plane that's how we have to solve the problem thank you for watching